Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode I'd like to talk about um, a company called FinCap in London who have been in the news recently about um, how their staff have felt burnt out and it's been, it's the basically the upper management and the leadership of that company have noticed this over the last year and uh, so now they have an unlimited from next year the firm will offer staff unlimited leave to stop burnout now from what i can gather from this it's not so much you can just take off you know when you want it's like you still need to book a holiday and you still need to book it but there's no like you know people get 20 days off a year plus bank holidays i just don't think there's any kind of um, limit on like what you can do there's probably a limit of how long you can take but I haven't been able to find out any information regarding that so basically they're looking at taking a minimum of four weeks leave plus two to three days every quarter and hoping that it will help reduce mental fatigue and burnout within their staff which is you know a good thing to look at and it's definitely going to be interesting to see how that progresses and moves forward so apparently from the research that I've done this is quite common within tech firms in the US which is quite interesting really because they're quite it's quite creative I, I see the tech firms as quite creative so maybe it is more of a mental fatigue and a breakdown rather than a physical but then again you have highly physical jobs where you generally tend to get more time off. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on that one. I could just be absolutely chatting shit there. But um, basically, it's a, a lady called Miss Smith, Miss Sam Smith, which is the chief executive of FinCap. Uh, the company started to notice about basically how much mental health strain was taken on their employees in last February. So and it was mainly noticeable on Zoom calls. People were fed up and... They just had no resilience left and they've just been in the pandemic for so long it just started to show within their mental health and um, being at home rather than being in the office you're on the computer more and there was just no boundaries no rest and it was just constant but this is where you can see the difference between good companies and great companies she saw this and has now decided to act upon it it wasn't acted upon straight away because i bet there was contingencies that needed to be in place which is fair enough you can't just make a decision like that and have no contingencies and then your business just collapse um so basically from the first of january staff will be able to take minimum leave that doesn't include time off to care for sick parents children or pets and time off for parents evenings and to deal with household problems such as like everybody has like broken boilers or flooding or whatever shit happen. they're not being considered as holidays but they're trying to enforce a minimum amount of holidays so you'll have a minimum of four weeks off a year but they also want you to take off well they say two to three days every quarter so you're looking at what's that an extra hold on three six, 12 days a year so you're looking at let's say it's 32 days plus the standard holidays that you need. So it's just a very interesting way of looking at it, especially this like Zoom fatigue, and then I should imagine this like rem remote working fatigue, and how that can be affecting people's mental health rather than, because you'd think working from home, and well, especially like at the start of it, it would be a great positive, you know, not only for businesses because they don't have to pay business, uh, like rental rates for spaces. People can just work from home and work remotely. But it's interesting to see now how the f mental fatigue and the mental health stress from working remotely where you don't have that kind of support as you would within an office setting, how that's now going to work. Like you can't just ask your colleague for a little bit of advice. You are literally on your own and you have to deal with everything. So yeah, so I found this interesting, this story quite interesting. And uh, I hope you found it quite interesting as well. And hopefully uh, 
you're not going through this kind of mental fatigue and, and if you are I encourage you to speak to a company or organisation to see whether there's anything they can do about it so uh, yeah look after yourselves and I'll catch you in the next one